Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your mid-June 2018 reading. Um, we're going to start off with love and then we'll jump to career and finance. Um, I'll save the announcements to the end. So let's get started. Okay, so the first card will be the present. What's going on presently with Aquarius? I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera the first card is what's going on with aquarius present okay and the second card is the past too many okay aquarius Aquarius, your cards are jumping all over the place. All right. The second card is the past. So, it's the past. Okay. Third card is the future. Okay, the magician just fell out of the deck. Put it back in. The fourth card is the reason, right? And the fifth card is the potential. Potential. Bottom of the deck, the seven of cups. So some of you could be in some, you know, emotional uh, confusion just outrightly confused about a situation uh, your emotions are stirred here um, also you know somebody could be like uh, someone's in your life and they're creating illusions they're creating that six of cups there in that water illusions where you it puts you in a place of thinking what if shoulda coulda woulda but you have this one cup here, and that's very real. It's not underwater. It's not away from you. It's not mysterious. It's not, you don't have to do a lot of work for it. It's there for you. But someone, uh, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who makes you feel this way, makes you feel as if what you have is not real. There are emotions there, but it's not real. There's someone here who's real. Okay, the present. The Ten of Wands. A burdensome situation, but you're laying it down. You're putting an end to it. Okay. It's either that or you need to put an end to it. Your car's been flying all over the place. Um, could be dealing with a fire sign, sun, moon, rising, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. You've been carrying the burden of um, continuously allowing this person to create this for you. They might be in and out. They may be hot and cold. It may have gone on for seven or more years. We just let this person emotionally confuse you in and out, out and in. The cards say lay down the burden that is this emotional confusion. All right, the second card is the past. Seven of Wands. Yeah, I think you walked away from this person or they walked away over it was a mutual or you just walked away, you put your foot down, you stood your ground about how you felt with this person. More fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You just knew that this wasn't right. Whatever right is to you, you knew that it just wasn't it didn't serve you. It served probably everybody else but you. So you had to stand your ground against a certain person take back your power stand up for yourself love yourself first the third card is the future all right the princess of cups might have a younger water sign in your life if not this is a, this might even be a child young adult uh, messages of love the message of love me the message of wanting to emotionally invest with you in something on something is here cancer pisces scorpio sun moon or rising 
Could be some something new. This is, I mean, well, it's a new start, if you will. It's just a message, you know. They haven't given you the cup, but you know by way of how they speak to you, the message is relayed, whether they're verbal or nonverbal, they let you know that this person is interested. Platonic or romantic? All right, and the fourth card is the reason. And the magician did pop back out. Nice. The, the reason why you've gotten to a place of you can lay down the burden, you had to stand your ground, uh, is because you manifested that. Also, the magician is a wise one, too. The magician knows what he or she wants, so they start to put things in place, use the tools at hand to, to make this be real for them. That is what manifestation is. I know a lot of readers, we just get into this, our, our own little jargon of, you know, of words, and it all just, you know, starts to sound the same, but manifestation is just Manifestation first, it starts in the mind. You think about what you want, what you want to do, whatever. And then, it, and then your emotions are stirred. There's your passion, there's your want. And then you actually, um, y your emotions are stirred. Excuse me, there's your cup. You know, y you're emotionally invested in whatever you're trying to manifest. And then you have the wands where you actually start to take action on something. And then it manifests in the physical, which is the pentacle. So that's what manifestation is. That's a cycle of it anyway. So you know what you want. You know you had to, you know where you wanted to go. So that's why, uh, this is the reason why you had to, you, you set boundaries with someone. They created seven of cups for you and uh, you were tired of that so you set boundaries and you know what you want uh, the potential the eight of cups yeah. eight of cups so we go it's progression here seven of cups eight of cups uh, you're gonna walk away from a situation that maybe right now might be upright when I say upright it may it might be that you guys are not arguing not fighting um, you're in a quote-unquote good place, but you, there's, you're still not fulfilled here. You're still not getting what you want. You know what you want as the magician, and you're not getting it here. So you might have to de emotionally detach, check out from this situation, which is uh, what we do sometimes. All right, so let's clarify a little bit, then we'll jump into career and finance. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the clarifying messages for Aquarius. What and who is the Ten of Wands? What or who is the Ten of Wands? Alright, I'll take it. The World Card and the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, a family situation is over. It could be family anything, family business, just a family dynamic is there's a cycle ending here you know you can't go any further here is what the cards is telling you lay down the burden which is the ten of wands in regards to a family dynamic and you might be walking away from a family dynamic it seems like it's all good from the outside from people looking in from the outside but you know the moon rests here you know there are secrets there are there's a great reason is the princess of cups who is the princess of cup who is the princess of cup okay six of sword got a lot of moving cards some of you are moving too um some of you are like physically moving home or moving away, yeah. Uh, Six of Swords, getting to peace and serenity. This um, message of love, of emotional fulfillment, brings you peace and serenity. It helps you get to a place of uh, 
calmness, stillness. This is the sixth month of the year. Uh, sixes are about peace, calmness, stillness. And that's what we're all trying to maintain here this month. Or at least see more of, you know. Nine of Pentacles just popped out of the deck. Some of you just walking away from the Ten of Pentacles becoming the Nine of Pentacles. Waiting for real and true partnership with, you know, someone else. Uh, what is the Eight of Cups? Nine of sword. Yeah, some of you have a really restless night, sleepless, anxiety, mental anxiety about this walking away. The Empress. Might be because someone is with child um, or there is someone else external to the family dynamic, man or woman. Third party, I don't know. Who is the Seven of Wands in regards to... The Nine of Cups. So it's almost contradicting as far as um, the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Cups. It could be read two ways. Either you stood your ground, drew a line in the sand, created a boundary so you can get wish fulfillment here. And or your wish has come true, but your guard is still up. What's the magician? What's the magician? The five of cups. Eight of cups again. Some of you are definitely walking away, maybe from third party situations. Some situations you created, Aquarius. A lot of my male Aquarius are caught up in third party situations. Um, could be female too, but uh, some of these third party situations were created by my male Aquarius. Some my female Aquarius have been, you know, put in third party situations knowingly or and unknowingly. But you're walking away. Okay, two more cards here. The death card and the wheel of fortune. Beautiful. Ending, new beginning. Wheel of fortune is now turning. The wheel is always turning but now it's turning in your favor what you've dealt will come back to you hopefully you've dealt good whatever you categorize good as is coming back to you uh, letting things happen and not trying to manipulate the energy so much I think some of you manipulated the energy in regards to how to get over and get out of a very hurtful situation uh, some of you could be grieving the loss of life someone could have lost their life um, and you just want to walk away from that grief you want to get back to a better place a better emotional state for some of you it was walking away from a situation that just didn't serve you anymore it wasn't emotionally fulfilling okay all right let's do career and finance for Aquarius The good thing is a lot of you have uh, someone here coming in. There's someone. And in the Seven of Cups, there is a Lone Cup. The Five of Cups has the Two of Cups. There's somebody else here. You just wanted some someone else, Aquarius. You wanted, you know, to be with said person. Said person is not trying to do what you want them to do. Not... You know, not in the manner you want. So, you might have to switch gears and uh, take up someone else on their offer. And I don't think it's a bad person. I don't think it's like, oh, it's, it's not like a consolation prize with um, this person. You know? It's just more so you just knew and you had your mindset on a particular person. Career and finance messages for Aquarius. Career and finance messages for Aquarius. I'm already at 14 minutes. Damn it. Seven of club. <clears throat> Prosperity and success here. Your psychic abilities are also heightened. Some of you are light workers. Some of you are um, going to find prosperity in doing that. Um, success in home and marriage. If you're married with the five of diamond. Uh, there might be changes around home also. 
uh, your intuition is also heightened against the opposite sex. So when someone tr tries to come in and feed you bullshit, you already know what's going on. Nine of spades, low energy, cancellation, reversal, um, mental anxiety, uh, could even be some health issues, diabetes, blood type related issues, um, checking on your health, Aquarius. Alright, <clears throat> career and finance, career and finance for Aquarius. Seven of spades, loss of friendship, loss of burden to carry, cutting something away, um, devising a plan of action also to, to move away from, okay? Career and finance for Aquarius. Three of diamond, legal problems, legal issues, uh, also partnership, contracts. Career and finance for Aquarius. Trying to get some seven of hearts. Get the same. This is like seven of cups. Broken promises. Unfaithful spouse or partner. Okay. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. Ten of spades. Ultimate betrayal. Being backed into a corner. This is five of spades. Um, King of diamond. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It's just reversal here. Um, opposition, problems, arguing, heavy argument, interference, outside interference. That's why you get the heavy arguing. The King of Diamond, though, could be with the King of Diamond or a, you're, you're sitting like the King of Diamond. Jack of Spades, someone who wears many faces. It can be whatever you want them to be. Ten of Club, unexpected good luck and money. So there we are. Career and finance, it could be in regards to uh, an air sign. Three of spades, divorce, caution in relationship, the need to practice caution in relationship, infidelity, separation. If you're dealing with an air sign, it's not looking good. Uh, my gosh. Three of club. Progression forward, movement, looking out into the horizon. There's still opposition here, but you're moving forward. Six of club, nice, nice, nice. Success in business and career, and help, success in business and help in business and career. Okay, so that there we are. <laughs> Six of spade, moving away from uh, making achievements over small burdens you know just getting stuff done nine of club new boyfriend new girlfriend you have a secret admirer here could be a fire sign aries sagittarius leo jack of diamond could be a dishonest person untrustworthy untrustworthy person but this could just be an offer that brings you your wish fulfillment here four spade some illness, yeah, some illness with that nine of spades, uh, a, a break, a timeout. Some of you could be bedridden. Uh, nine of diamonds, nice. Business opportunity here. Being restless in your current position. Two of diamonds, um, the love affair or the business opportunity, business contract that's not favorable. Okay, so we'll take these and be done with it. Even after the two of diamonds, we have the ultimate highest level of happiness some good money good good home life just good family ten of diamond the ace of diamond could be engagement getting it yeah getting engaged moving in together making large purchases buying a home selling a home uh, ace of club health wealth and happiness you know so the health is going to turn around for you eight of club things moving fast you can even be having conversation about the trouble in, in your relationship uh, due to someone's jealousy and or greed but things are moving and pro progressing quickly for you which is making you like the queen of club uh, charismatic outgoing uh, charming attractive to others okay so Aquarius my God, the love for some of you, you're walking away, you're walking away, you're walking away. But not before the drama, not before the shit storm. Um, money looks good, business looks good, but there is opposition. When is there not? You'll get through it though. Stay in prayer, stay hopeful, stay positive, stay above 
the shit's too much, you know. Um, walk away is what I'm here for some of you. Okay. Okay. Parental care, spiritual growth, changing your mind, religion and spirituality, heavenly signs. Yeah, a lot of you are relying heavily on spirit. Take the next step now. Realizations and epiphany. Spirit is working so have relationship dynamics at the bottom of the deck are working with you heavily. I mean, you have all of the spiritual cards, religion and spirituality, spiritual growth, heavenly signs, realizations and epiphanies. For some of you, it's a wake up call. You get it. Now you're changing your mind about a certain circumstance. It will go back to love. You thought you were going this way. No, no, no. You need to go that way. Um, you get it now. You, you, you're you're uh, awake to what you need to be doing and what you need to be focused on and who you need to be focused on because they're focused on you and who you don't need to be focused on because they don't want what you want. They can never give you what you want. Um, parental care. Right, so parental care. You either need to take some time and be concerned about your parent or you need to be concerned about your parenting skills and some children. The children in your life, young adults, small children, parental care is highlighted. Um, you might be getting some real heavy downloads. Write down your dreams. Write down things people say to you that cause this. You know, sometimes you could be in conversation. Someone says something and it's just like, aha, there's your epiphany. Take the next step now, whatever that means. Heavenly signs. There's signs here showing you that, you know, you need to take the next step in whatever career, love with the children in the home life, family life relationship dynamics are highlighted how you feel about a certain R situation is um, highlighted now yeah. um Someone, yeah, someone could have a third party wanting to walk away from the third party. The dynamics of a relationship have been stirred and, and changed. What relationship dynamics? It's not the same. It's not as the, the beginning, like when you started out with a certain person. Aquarius, if this resonates with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Take advantage of the new special. One question. For ten dollars, it's a yes or no question. Is he cheating? Is he a liar? Is she a liar? Is she cheating? Where is she? Will she come back? Will he come back? Did he leave with? Did she leave with? You know, the typical questions I get. So those questions are one dollar. I mean, ugh, not one dollar. Ten dollars. One question. Uh, send an email if you want to take advantage of that. Okay, Aquarius, remember. When in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care until next time.